This is a demo of Windows Media Center 7 on an Xbox 360 extender. We're going to start by hitting the green button, which is take, obviously going to take a second to load. First thing you'll notice once it's done loading is the new splash screen, splash music. There isn't really anything wrong with the old stuff, but it's, uh, it's kind of a nice touch. Now once you're in here, it's a lot like Vista, except you notice the, the instead of being centered, the tiles are offset to the bottom left. Uh, and, but it's the same old tiles that we're used to. Some of them are a little bit moved around, but sports is still here and tasks and everything else. So let's first go into recorded TV. First thing you'll notice in here is that we have a couple new views up at the top. In addition to title and date recorded, uh, we have original air date and shared. Now, unfortunately, you still can't put things in folders and have them by date. So now that we're in date recorded, you'll notice it takes them out of folders. So we still use the tile, title. Uh, you do have a shared option, which is nice if you have more than one media center. You can access it if they're in the same home group. But it's not complete integration because you can't resume and it's not completely seamless. Uh, but it's appreciated nonetheless. One thing you'll notice in here is that when the show is about to delete, there's an exclamation, kind of like Vista, but this will actually show you exclamation if it's going to be deleted because uh, in this particular case, two of these are uh, going to be deleted because there's new ones going to be recorded instead. Now on some of these, when you dig down in and you click on it, you see the info, you have this image here, instead of being like a thumbnail of the video itself, it's downloaded from the internet, which is kind of a nice, a nice touch. Uh, of course, you can cancel the series or delete it. Unfortunately, if you delete it, it's for good, so you'll always be prompted uh, with this confirmation, just like Vista, which we hate. We'd much rather have deleted items, but I guess we'll have to wait till Windows 8 for that. Inside here, you can go to your series info. What's kind of annoying here is when you first hit series info, it takes you to the, this screen instead of the actual series. You can do HD is preferred or HD only, SD only, SD preferred, or just by the actual channel itself if you only want it to record off one channel regardless of whether it's HD or not. You can also choose any time. This is really useful if you have a show that's a new show, for example. It's on three times a day. It's the same exact episode, but the info for that episode is always the same. So, uh, so the Media Center or any other DVR will, will have to record all three of them anyway. So what you can do here is you can say only record the one that comes on at 5 a.m. Uh, or you can just say only or record any of them. The other thing you can do that's appreciated is you can say we have our series, all of our series, default set to always record an extra three minutes of each show. But now you can do when possible. So if there was a tutor conflict on the right after this, uh, it will automatically resolve that conflict by not recording that extra three minutes. Now we're going to cancel here and go back and you'll see here we have other showings and you can see uh, future episodes, when they're going to be on, and whether they're going to be recorded or not. Uh, those three red circles, just like Vista, indicate that it's a series recording. And then when there's an exclamation, just like it shows in the guide, means this episode will not be recorded uh, because it's a rerun and it's already been recorded right here. And that's pretty much what's new in recorded TV. Now just like Vista, you can go up here and you can add recordings. Uh, but when you go into search, they change the search menu around a little bit. Uh, you still dial the numbers you know, to get them, but you have some additional options. You can go down here to layout, you can dial it directly if you wanted to, you know, put it in if you preferred that to the letters. Um, so that's kind of kind of nice. All right, and Next up, we're going to take a look at the guide. The guide is similar but improved. The overall layout is better. One thing you'll notice is there are HD logos in here, which are awesome. Uh, Formula One, still not in high def. Uh, the other thing you'll really cool those colors. Sports are green, news is mustard, I guess. Um, documentaries are orange, movies are purple. You can turn this off 
per extender. So if you prefer just to have it all the same color, you can do that too. The other thing that's new is you can do channel logos now. It's not built in, unfortunately, uh, but there's a cool utility called My Channel Logos uh, that we're using here that imported all these automatically. So you install it and it does that. Now this particular channel is a local, local independent affiliate. They don't have, uh, they don't have a channel logo in the database. I could add my own manually or uh, I could just leave it say W more like I do here. Now if I go into edit channel just like this I can disable that or I can change the channel number now make it any channel I want. Now Vista you could do that but not on ATSC channels so this would have been 1321 instead of channel 32. It's obviously a lot easier to dial 32 and you can rename a channel if you want to make it anything you want anything you'd like it to say. Uh, you can also edit the listings if they're wrong and you wanted to override them and you can edit sources. This is really cool because you can take all your different tuners and disable or enable them per channel. Uh, you can split or combine them together. It does it automatically in some cases but you can do it manually. You can also change the priority. So if you want to record with the ATSC tuners first to avoid cable card DRM, you just put them up higher and they'll record it. Or you can disable cable card completely. And this works no matter how many tuners you have. So if you had, say, a cable, cable card, ATSC, and dish tuner, you could have up to 12 tuners for this one channel and never, ever have a recording conflict. You can also split the channels if you wanted them to be separate for some reason. Now, just like in Vista, you have categories. But what's new is you have favorites. These are ones I actually created myself. So these... This is all the channels I get that have college football games. These are all the channels I get that have NFL football games. And the TV pack had this. Uh, the big difference was that when you selected it and you went to live TV, you can see right there in the info that I'm on uh, what channel I'm in. Uh, when you hit guide again, you didn't stay there. So you would actually flip back to the all guide. So it's nice that, that it, it takes you like this. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that when I hit the channel up, it, it's on that favorite. So I'm actually channel up and down just through my favorite channels. Um, of course, you can go into the guide and change it back. But one thing I want to show you before I show you that is if you go into the future because you're looking through for something and you don't want to have to go all the way back just to change the categories, there's a quick little shortcut, which I believe is also in Vista, to get back there. And then you can hit all. The other thing that's slick is on the new HD filter, just like the movie filter in Vista, it will only show you what's in HD. Obviously, accurate guide data is very important to make this work properly, but uh, it's still very useful. Now, if we go on to live TV, you'll notice a new scrub bar. This is much more discreet than the old scrub bar. It stays out of the way a lot better, but still gives you all the information you want, like what time the show started, what time the show ends, what time is it right this minute, and what time in the show you are, and how fast, how much, how fast you're fast forwarding. Now you'll notice the scrub bar on the right is the future right of the dot. You can see it's dark gray, and that shows you that's the future bar. And then if you look to the left, you can see bright white, and that's how far back you can rewind. The black is obviously missing scrub bar. Now, when you're in live TV and you hit up channel up and down, you get the nice little info just to show you what's on really quickly. Uh, but unlike Vista, if you want to go deep into the guide, if you just hit right, you'll get much more information than you used to get in Vista. Hit enter just like Vista and you get the full information. Uh, but if you don't want to go to this full one, you can stay in this little mini one, which is basically similar information. And you have access to the actions or other showings, like we just showed you in recording TV uh, when that show went though. But in addition, you have access to the zoom settings, um, which are just like Vista zoom settings. Uh, they're a little easier to get to, we think. And you have captions. This is pretty big if you like to use captions, because in Vista, you used to have to really dig deep to turn them on and off. And here, you can just boom, clip them. Of course, they still show up if you mute it, uh, which is a must-have feature for us sometimes. And the other thing that's really cool is, unlike Vista, which would only show you one channel at a time what was on, this mini guide will show you what's coming on 
and you can see all the different channels. And even better, if you go left on the bottom here, you can see what's coming on the next three shows or click it and dig in and see what's on whenever you want in the future with using the list guide. So that's, that's actually pretty slick, we have to say. We, we really appreciate that one. All right, so next up, we're going to leave live TV. And when we're in the live TV menu and recording TV, before we get to anything else, we just want to show you that the preview window is still ridiculously slow. I don't know who, who thought it was a good idea to make it that small, but it is what it is, I suppose. Maybe the next version. Now, if we go into movie libraries, the next thing I want to show you. Now, this was in Vista, but you had to enable it. It wasn't on by default, and it wasn't very usable, in our opinion. Now you have support for all kinds of additional formats. Uh, most of these in here for us are DVRMS files, and the reason why we do that is because uh, we're still able to get the full metadata and box art and resume. Just well, you can do resume in almost any format now that the Media Center supports. But on the extender and on the regular Media Center, DVRMS files have full fast forward and rewind, just like a recorded TV show. Uh, and of course, your same info that you might want to see, which is kind of nice. And then, just like you would expect in a movie, you have, you can look at similar movies, cast and crew, which will take you to these people uh, if they're in another movie. I'll show you all the different movies by them. The other thing that's added, Movie Guide was in Vista as well, but they added a new filter, which we really like, and that's HD. Now it'll show you all the different HD movies, and of course, since you can disable tuners, you'll only see the movies that you want to see that show up that you have. Here you can see the rating, you can see what year they were, what channel they're going to be on, what time, so on and so forth. You can just hit the record button here if you want to record this, or you can just select it to see more information. You can read the full plot, um, pulls all this off the internet. You have, you know, advanced record if you want to go in and uh, set up, you know, unfortunately there's not more settings than just keep until and how long to stop. But you can see other showings, maybe there's the movie's on now, right this minute, but you want to catch it the next time it's on. So you can go in here, if it was on again, it would show you um, other movies that are similar. And then you can go in here and say directors, and it'll take you to all the other movies that are going to be on. Uh, you know, unfortunately all these aren't going to be in HD, but you can easily see this one's going to be in HD, this one's not. So it's, if you're a big movie fan, we kind of prefer Blu-ray, but every once in a while it's nice to go in here and see what's what's going to be on. And you could rip your Blu-ray discs in here and then show up in movie library, so it's not that you couldn't use it. There's some other stuff in Windows 7 that's pretty slick, but from a high-def standpoint video, those are the highlights.